weekend. Some incredible stuff indeed. And we've got a little bit more for you. We've got a special treat, an interview with the winning captain, courtesy of uh, Mr. Baccarino. Actually, it's, it's going to be with Seb. Okay. Uh, so another player from the winning squad. But we're going to see what they're up to. Mark, what's the scoop? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, we are up here taking advantage of this wonderful sweet bathroom. This is bigger than my master bedroom in my house. So I figured we'd, uh, we had to relax. Vent's over. It's time to chill. We got our bathrobes on. The slippers are here. We haven't put them on yet. I'm but missing some wine. You know, some okay. grapes, maybe. Right. Some, cheese. some cheese. We'll get you some, a, a fine, sharp cheddar with an aged wine. I need some. After this game, come on. Uh, it was a long series. <laughs> Another one. Because Absolutely. like that's that's been kind of the the story so for your whole team. Yeah. So you guys played the most of everyone at this event. Yep. That was a lot of Counter Strike because you played a overtime game to start. Yeah. Then you played three best of threes and you managed to still come out on top. No, they were the first team we played, like and it was an overtime on Mirage. Triple like, Yeah, triple O-T. It was a close game. Like honestly, there's a few rounds we should have had on that map, but I, I, it's it's better worked out this way. You know, we're, we're trying to give you guys a show. You know, that's all it is. You know, the comebacks, all that kind of jazz. When you saw your team and you saw the players that were on your team, did you was there any like thoughts like we could win this, or is it kind of just like oh this will be fun? I, I was I was pretty confident with it to be honest, because like Crash uses nuts, for example. He um, just happens to be in the room, so. Oh, there he is. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we have one guy that's his first LAN, and that's his first, I'm pretty sure. Brandon, maybe? Boobie. Boobie. Yeah, okay. first land, yeah. yeah, it's Ruby's first LAN, so that's, that's sick. Um, what a first LAN to come to. Right? Like, I, don't know, I don't know how they're feeling about it, but overall, like, I mean, we had, we had Skadaddy. Like, he's insane to this day. Just, it was actually a huge pleasure playing with him. Um, his, you know, his calling, you know, we pretty much we all pitched in as far as like certain tactics, but overall, like he was making some, you know, good calls like T side, like CT side would call like a double op that would work, like crashies would pick up the op. That was usually like shutting down most of like the like the comeback, for example. Like that was huge. Like it was it was really like beneficial, like picking up two ops, and that just let's just let us like I don't know, it was the, the fifteen six like comeback was just insane. But usually that was you know our best bet. Just Pulling out two ops, shutting it down, and they just didn't know what to do, I guess. I mean, you were a bit of a sleeper pick, too, because you came in, you had to actually play an aim map best of three. Yeah. I, because you tied in the final Right, week. yeah. Me and Mitch had the 1v1. <laughs> yeah. Best of three 1v1, which, you know, people are doing here now. Uh, unfortunately for him, he didn't make it. But, uh, yeah, it was, like, the last minute almost decision. And then during the draft process, you were the last rank S player left. I didn't even know. I honestly, yeah, so, I wasn't paying attention, so I have no so idea. So they, the way that it works is actually like Scott kind of surprised a lot of people yeah. and selected some rank G players early, which worked yeah, clearly. Yeah, absolutely. So he, like, he did good. But I, I said it right off the bat. I'm like, I don't understand this. Like Seb is always a sleeper. Like hey, that's, you're that's totally classically fine. underestimated <laughs> for your performance. I've said this all throughout your career when you were playing sure, in sure. pro league and everything. Like I always thought Seb is the player that is underestimated every time. And you showed it. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. You walked I, away I wasn't with the really doing too hot on the last BO3, but I feel like overall, as long as you're like, if you're not doing too hot, like as long as you're supporting, you're hitting flashes, your comms are up, like, you know, you balance yourself out even if you're not bragging. So as long as I can bring that to the table, you know, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm proud of all of them. Well, I don't want to keep you too long. There's some partying to do. Uh, I'm down, yeah. You just, uh, you just won. I mean, we can turn the water I mean, on if you want, have a good for, time, get this know? party yeah, real go- trucks, really going. You know, I brought it in. But uh, I do appreciate you taking time to Absolutely. hop in the bathtub with me. It's a uh, life goal nice. now. I can check that off the bucket list, the bath time with Seb. But uh, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, have fun with the rest of your time in Vegas. I want to give a quick shout out to all of our sponsors as well, the MGM Grand, Xfinity, and Chipotle for filling our bellies with wonderful burritos all weekend long. We really do appreciate it. The venue was amazing. The players were amazing. The games were amazing. And you were amazing as well. We'll see you guys next time.